वी आर लुकिंग एट चैप्टर नंबर सेवनटीन विच इज फॉरेस्ट अवर लाइफ लाइन सो फॉरेस्ट अवर लाइफ लाइन क्वेश्चन आंसर वी आर गोइंग टू सी फॉरेस्ट आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस सो अलॉन्ग विद क्वेश्चन वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द इम्पॉर्टेंस एंड रेलिवेंस ऑफ फॉरेस्ट फॉर अस first is explain how animals dwelling in the forest help it grow and regenerate so how does animal help forest to grow and regenerate so there are various ways uh, like the uh, animals the animals may be herbivores they can be uh, carnivores they can be both that is omnivores so they live in a uh, forest and they are ev every 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 one of them they are part of food chain so animal uh, the seeds seeds dispersal you know reproduction in plants animal facilitate them they are one one of the uh, you can say important factor in dispersal of seed from one part of the forest to other then the excreta of animal and when they die animal when they die and when they are decomposed their excreta is decomposed they act as manure they act as they they act as a manure for the plants which are upcoming and the humus which are created by the dead plants and animal when the the microorganisms or the decomposers works on it they are rich in nut nutrients and they are the basic building block of plants means they are incredibly important or very necessary uh, for mineral uh, pr providing or you can say mineral source for plant explain how forests prevent floods so there are various uh, ways in which you can see if this is a tree this is soil okay these are roots first of all the forest are natural absorber of rainwater and it uh, allows them to see when the rain falls on a tree it uh, this rain doesn't fall directly to the soil but in fact it dips it dips like this so this rain which uh, if if tree is not there it will flow like this but because tree is there it dips and it will go inside the means it will increase the ground level ground water will be uh, increased then when uh, there is no tree if the water comes like this it will just flow taking all the upper uh, say the important layer of the soil so if water is there it will stop the if the tree is there it will stop the water so the the prevention of flood is also the ma major task of these trees whose roots binds the soil what are decomposers name any two of them and what do they do in the forest so decomposers are minute very minute microorganisms they are certain insects also they work on those which are being decayed which have lived their life like the plants and animal so the microorganisms that convert the dead this is very important dead plant and animal to humus they are known as decomposers the fungi and the bacteria are certain examples so what they do exactly in the forest they are recycling agent when the plants and animals some of them uh, they have lived their life they die so these decomposers recycle and convert these dead matter into humus this humus mixes with the soil forest soil and these are the nutrients provider to the plants so in fact uh, these decomposers are is are having a role to maintain the the required or necessary nutrient uh, balance of uh, nutrients in the soil explain the role of forest in maintaining the ba balance between oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere the two parts in forest one is uh, flora one is fauna so what what happens here is the flora 
that is the plants and trees they take oxygen and they give they take carbon dioxide and they give out oxygen while the fauna they intake the oxygen and take out the or give out the carbon dioxide as they are respiring so forests play a very important role forest works like a self sustaining or self regenerating system all the produ uh, product or whatever is produced in the forest is utilized in the forest so animal when they are doing uh, respiration they take oxygen and release carbon dioxide while on the other hand the plants take these carbon dioxide and they release the oxygen because they are doing photosynthesis they are producing their food even all the waste you know all the waste are also converted into beneficial substances in a forest that is why there is no waste and this they, this is this is the role of forest in maintaining the balance between oxygen and carbon dioxide o2 and co2 explain why there is no waste in forest which just saw in the previous question that whatever is produced is consumed in the forest as we just said that these forests are self sustaining they are excellent perfect example of natural recycling factories all animals they may be herbivores they may be carnivores and they ultimately depends on what they depends on food they depend on food because herbivores eat plant and and of course plant products then carnivores they eat herbivores and the microorganisms they act on dead dead remains of animal and plants they produce uh, or they make humus so whatever is being produced by forest is ultimately the uh, you can say the outcome of forest is intake of forest the forest are maintaining or they acts as a network a food chain called food web and nothing goes waste in forest everything is consumed everything is being produced uh, in a way or just because they are to be consumed list five products we get from forests so we get fruits and vegetables we get timber and wood the turpentine latex that is the rubber raw product we get from forest spices resin gum the medicines and the herbs fill in the blanks the insects butterflies honeybees and birds help flowering plants in pollination pollination a forest is a purifier of air and water herbs form the lowest layer in the forest lowest layer the decay leaves and animal droppings in a forest enrich the soil they enrich the soil why should we worry about the conditions and issues related to forest far from us uh, you know if some deforestation is going on say uh, in uh, in delhi the kerala people should not be worried about it is it the case or if something is going on the on michigan or new york the kenya people should not be worried about this is not the case you are living in a world which is governed by certain parameters environmental parameters the temperature the total earth temperature so everything uh, happening anywhere directly or indirectly affect the total the combined the collective environment temperature and the conditions of the world so these forests are very important we should we should really you know be concerned about it we said we need to be very careful and concerned about the issues which are related to forest because if there is no forest there will be more floods there will be a lot of uh, soil erosion see forest are basic uh, you know factor as far as global environment uh, is concerned if uh, the forest are reduced that is deforestation happens that area lead to global warming it will add up to the global warming and which is ultimately going to affect the whole earth not only you because you are living nearby 
But if you, even if you are far off, it is going to affect you. Forests are uh, the dwelling place of uh, animals. So if uh, deforestation happens, it is going to endanger the life and the environment uh, together. Then, if you if we don't have trees and plants, what where will the fauna will go? The animals will not have any uh, food and shelter. And apart from that, not even this, uh, you know, conditions or, you know, temperature, global warming. There is one more thing that forest is going, is giving us wood, is giving us fruits, medicines. So, these products will not be available if we are, uh, we kept or we keep on cutting the trees and plants. Explain why there is a need of variety of animals and plants in a forest. That means we are talking about biodiversity. Why, need we, why we need different types of flora and fauna? So, variety of animals and plants living in forest build a rich biodiversity. And this biodiversity is very important. Because every plant and animal, they have a role. There is a system. There is a system being built, built by the Almighty, the God. And just, just for example, her, herbivores. They are needed to eat uh, green plants and to provide food for the carnivores. The carnivores eat the herbivores and check that the herbivores population does not increase more than a level. The biodiversity makes forests more productive. The stability and resilience it makes. So the diversity or biodiversity make forests more productive, stable and resilient. Just see that if there is no grass, all herbivores would die. If there are no carnivores, the herbivores will eat all the plants and there is shortage of food, there will be shortage of food. And if there are no decomposers, then what will happen to the dead plants and animals? They will actually pollute the system, they pollute the environment. So due to such a biodiversity, a balance in nature is maintained. Here the artist in this, in this figure has to put some labels. Right, so we have to mark this. We have all these uh, available with us: cloud, rain, atmosphere, carbon dioxide, oxygen, plants, animals, soil, roots, water table. So we'll start with this cloud. This is the atmosphere. These are the rain, rain coming down. This this is carbon dioxide because oxygen is uh, is delivered by the tree and plants, and carbon dioxide can be taken. While the deer is intaking oxygen and and releasing carbon dioxide. These are the plants, these are the roots, this is the soil, this is the water table. Which of the following uh, statement is not correct? The second one, this, this uh, statement is saying a lot. Plants and animals in a forest are not dependent on one another. This in fact is wrong because they are dependent on each other. Microorganisms act upon the dead plants to produce humus. It produces humus. So these are few questions and answer on forest. Forests are very important for us. Even if we are not living there, that doesn't mean that their importance can be ignored. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.